Okay, let's start. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. So our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, a repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of the recording, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his court team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins we are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false with accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who formerly work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst three men and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Oh, my God. 
mga pananaw at ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Interradio Special Report. Today is Sunday, May 9, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Interradio and Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off with our... Uh, Joint special report of One Inclusion Live Weekend and Editorial Sunday, we will be reading our daily verse for today from 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. We love because he first loved us. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment and we will be back after these first two commercials. Now this. Okay, 
Welcome back to our joint special report or the Inclorajo special report. We will be discussing two topics, three topics within this time, within this two to three hours of the show. Our first topic for this afternoon we will discuss to you is about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is the celebration honoring the mother of the family as well as motherhood, maternal bonds, and the influence of mothers in society. It is celebrated on various days in many parts of the world. The American incarnation of Mother's Day was created by Anna Jarvis in 1908 and became an official U.S. holiday in 1914. Anna Jarvis would later denounce the holiday's comm commercialization and spent the later part of her life trying to remove it from the calendar. While dates and celebrations vary, Mother's Day traditionally involves presenting moms with flowers, cards, and other gifts. How is this started? Celebrations of mothers and motherhood can be traced back to the ancient Greeks and Romans, who held festivals in honor of the mother goddesses Rhea and Cybe. But the clearest modern precedent for Mother's Day is the early Christian festival known as Mothering Sunday. Once a major tradition in the United Kingdom and parts of Europe, this celebration fell on the fourth Sunday in Lent and was originally seen as a time when the faithful would return to their mother church, the main church in the vicinity of their home for a special service. Another precursor to Mother's Day came from the abolitionist and suff suffragette Julia Ward Howe. In 1870, Howe wrote the Mother's Day Proclamation, a call to action that asked mothers to unite in promoting world peace. In 1873, Julia Howe campaigned for a Mother's Peace Day to be celebrated every June 2. Other early Mother's Day pioneers include Juliet Calhoun Blake Lee, a temperance activist who inspired a local Mother's Day in Albion, Michigan in the 1870s. The duo of Mary Towles Sasson and Frank Herring, meanwhile, both worked to organize a Mother's Day in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Some even called Hen Herring the father of Mother's Day. The official Mother's Day holiday arose in the 1900s as a result of the efforts of Anna Jarvis, daughter of Anne Reeves Jarvis. Following her mother's 1905 death, Anna Jarvis conceived of Mother's Day as a way of honoring the sacrifices mothers made for their children. After gaining financial back backing from a Philadelphia department store owner named John Wanamaker in May 1908, she organized the first official Mother's Day celebration at a Methodist church in Grafton, West Virginia. The same day also saw thousands of people attend a Mother's Day event in one of Wanamaker's retail stores in Philadelphia. Following the success of her first Mother's Day, Jarvis, who remained unmarried and childless her whole life, resolved to, resolved to see her holiday added to the national calendar. Arguing that American holidays were biased towards male achievements, she started a massive letter writing campaign to newspapers and prominent politicians urging the adoption of a special day honoring motherhood. While versions of Mother's Day are celebrated worldwide, traditions vary depending on the country. In Thailand, for example, Mother's Day is always celebrated in August on the birthday of the Queen of Thailand, Sirikit. Another alternate observance of Mother's Day can be found in Ethiopia, a country located in Africa, where families gather each fall to sing songs and eat a large feast as part of Antrost, a multi-day celebration honoring motherhood. In the United States, Mother's Day continues to be celebrated by presenting mothers and other women with gifts and flowers and has become one of the biggest holidays for consumer spending. Families also celebrate by giving mothers a day off from activities like cooking or other household chores. The essence of Mother's Day is that one day out of the year, 
we have this beautiful opportunity to give back the people who have given to us so much, our moms. We love them. At times, maybe not so much. And as we get older, sometimes we become them. Whether she carried you inside of her for nine months or is a non-blood-related woman who has loved you like her own, most people can identify a person who they can be thankful for on this holiday. Mother's Day is an occasion which is celebrated in various parts of the world to express respect, honor, and love towards mothers. The day is an event to honor the contribution of mothers, acknowledge the efforts of maternal bonds, and the role of mothers in our society. Uh, coming up next later, we will discuss to you about appreciation for mothers. We will be back at after, after this commercial. Now this. Okay, welcome back to our joint special report. Our second topic for this afternoon is about how we should appreciate for mothers. There is one person in life who you can always count on. There is only one person in your life who you know the sound of their heartbeat from the inside. That person gave you life and loves you unconditionally. That person has made endless sacrifices just to see you smile. That person is your mother. A mother's love is unconditional. A mother's love is the glue that holds us together. When you are young, you simply cannot imagine life without your mother. During our teenage years, many of us experience an awkward phrase when our moms are embarrassing, or perhaps you thought of her as a big meanie. But as we grow up, we slowly realize our mothers are our best friends with our best interests at heart. Our moms are the ones we call in for we call for in triumph and sorrow. When we grow up, we realize there is truth in the phrase, mom knows best. There are countless times in life where you need your mother, and no one else can take her place. While flowers and chocolates are perfectly suitable as a way to say thanks to your mom, your actions and special words mean the most to her. While we will never be able to count the myriad of blessings they've given to us, here are the five reasons we should tell our moms we love them this Mother's Day. First, mom is modern day superhero. Mothers are the embodiment of resilience. Each time life knocks, knocks your mother down, she comes back stronger than ever. Rather than allowing failure or sickness to overcome and drain her resolve, she always manages to find a way to rise up from the ashes. Our mothers have taught us to embody a brilliant strength throughout our journey in life. They have taught us one of the most valuable lessons in life, to love ourselves. Our mothers help us discover what we want to do in this world. And when we make that discovery, they are right by our sides, cheering us along with integrity and hope. She leads by example. A mother's passion and commitment to her family is truly inspiring. A mother's unconditional love is the foundation of the entire family. The strength of a mother's love can move mountains. Our mothers teach us to be the bigger person, to have compassion for our youth, to rise above all, and to be our own source of strength. Did you ever watch a mother care for a sick child or spouse? She does it with grace and dignity. A mother engrossed in caring giving for an ill loved one is the definition of strength and courage. While surrounded by heartbreak and human suffering, our mothers show us what great means by selflessly putting their needs aside to tend for us. This Mother's Day today, 
Thank your mom for motivating you. For teaching you the sky is the limit and impossible is just a word. Third, she supports you when you need it most. Our mothers are pretty amazing. They put up with our absurd shenanigans and they do it with smiles and zero judgment. They're the ones waiting by the sidelines when we lose the big game. Waiting with the box of Kleenex after our first big breakup. Racing to the emergency room when we tumble out of the tree house and break a leg. Sometimes it's not the magnificent gestures that makes moms special. But the little words of encouragement that mean the most. Our mothers are the ones constantly whispering, you can do it. Even when we think we have run out of steam and cannot possibly continue, she's the motivator who will be there to guard our aspirations. Our mothers truly believe we are the most beautiful creatures on the planet, even when we are at the most awkward stages in life. Mom's unconditional love and guidance enable us to see strength and ability in others. Third, her, her love is incomparable. A mother teaches her children every emotion. Happiness, sadness, fear, love, anger, helplessness, compassion, excitement, joy, sorrow, all while hoping and praying that they will only experience the good things in life. Your mother is the place you came from, your first home. She is the guiding light calling you to shore during the darkness of a storm. Your mother is your first friend, perhaps even your first enemy. But as we grow up and mature, we realize she's the best friend and our biggest friends in life. And with only our best interests at heart. The strongest love is a mother's love. Nothing on earth can separate you from your mother. Not time, not space, not even death. A mother's love is unconditional, timeless, and precious. The heart of a mother is like a rare jewel. The fifth, she gives her family all she has and more. One of the most generous gifts a mom gives her family is her time and undivided attention. A mother makes countless sacrifices. She gives up her privacy and alone time to make sure her children are thriving. She gives up a carefree lifestyle to make sure her children are fed, comforted, and happy. With endless love and guidance, our mothers teach us to say, what is in our hearts they allow us to be vulnerable and to embrace risk our mothers teach us a love to love a world that barely knows what it means to love itself their love and guidance help us faithfully pursue life with integrity and hope our mothers are the ones beaming with pride cheering from the sidelines when our dreams become reality our mothers are the ones who sometimes have delayed their own dreams with the hopes of us achieving ours first Okay, so coming up later, uh, we'll, we will be discussing to you about the best Mother's Day gift ideas. We'll be back after um, after one commercial and a 15, minute, 15 to 20 minute break. Stay tuned. Wow, wow, wow. 
Okay, welcome back to our joint special report. Our last topic for this afternoon, we'll be discussing to you about the best Mother's Day gift ideas. Mother's Day is always the second Sunday of May and it doesn't change year to year but somehow the holiday never fails to sneak up on us leaving us empty-handed and more than a little anxious if that's a tight spot you found yourself this in this year there's good news we're here to help with the list of all of the all-time best last-minute mother's day gifts consider our curated picks each of which can be shipped directly to her home in as little as one or two days they're inexpensive, mom approved, and most importantly, every bit, bit as special as a regular gift, which means your secrets safe with us. After all, moms deserves the best. Just because you've le you're leaving your shopping duties in the last few days doesn't mean you have to sacrifice quality or thoughtfulness when it comes to choosing a gift from this year's Mother's Day gift guide. Whether you're shopping for new mom gift, gifts, gifts for grandma, or gifts for a mother-in-law, you'll love our finds, which include everything from personalized bracelets to heartfelt gift baskets. There's something here for just about every woman to love. Just don't forget to check out the best free printable cards for Mother's Day, too. They're the easiest way to add a personalized touch and don't cost a thing. Flowers. A bouquet of flowers is a go-to gift for a reason. They're universally enjoyed by mothers everywhere. Gold layered necklace. This multi-strand necklace is available in 15 different options. Choose from a bar, pendant, disc, or a butterfly. Fill in the blank book. Fill in this book with personal antidotes about why you are grateful for your mom. Succulent and cactus seed kit. She loved putting her green thumb to work with this cactus and succulent growing kit. She'll enjoy her new plants for years to come. Paramount Plus. Let mom have access to all of her favorite shows with the Paramount Plus subscription. She'll appreciate you every time she watches a show. A blue light blocking glasses. Anyone who spends a lot of time on their smartphone or laptop would benefit from blue light blocking glasses. Air fryer. Not only does it fry, but it grows, boils, bakes, and reheats with ease. This air fryer also doesn't take up too much valuable real estate on the kitchen counter. Temperature control smart mug. Le never let coffee go cold again with the smart mug. Keeps coffee and other hot beverages at an, at an ideal 120 degrees for hours. Hydro flask water bottle. Available in array of pretty spring colors with a straw lid. This water bottle will keep mom hydrated. Birkenstocks. A trusty pair of Birkenstocks made out of full friendly rubber will be used all summer long. French Terry Lounge Set. A cozy lounge set will become a closet staple. Choose from um, dusty pink or heather gray. Betty, Betty White Socks. These socks are sure to arrive in time and make her smile every time she wears them. Floral Rose Running Gardening Gloves. It's gardening season again. Help her get back outside in style with these gorgeous flower printed rose running gloves with protective leather palms and extended cuffs. Wireless Mobile Photo Mini Printer. Upgrades mom's fridge photo collection with a wireless printer that instantly turns out physical copies of her favorite digital pictures. Suc succulents collection. Does mom have a green thumb? Grow her plant collection with a set of 12 unique succulents. 
at less than $3 or around uh, so we'll see $30 times wait 30 times 47 it's around about uh, 1410 pesos this cheap mother's day idea is way too good to pass up essential oil diffuser bracelet does your mom deserve some self-care this bracelet which releases a pleasant aroma thanks to essential oils will keep her calm and happy all day. Shea Butter Hand Cream Thin Gift Set. Mom will appreciate this three-piece hand cream set that she can throw in her purse, car, or desk drawer. A weighted blanket. Yes, you can really get one of the trendiest gifts on the market without having to plan ahead. This weighted blanket boasts thousands of glowing reviews and will ship straight to your mom's home. Magnolia Table, Volume 2, A Collection of Recipes for Gathering. Joanna Gennis's new cookbook is finally here. What better way to surprise your mom than with this already beloved new release? You look radishing tote. Puns for the win. Whether she brings it to the farmer's market or to the grocery store, this adorable tote is sure to come in handy. A three-piece floral garden tool, tool set. Mom will be all set for her gardening projects with this pretty floral set of tools. In this fun kit, a trowel, cultivar, and pruning shear are included. Sky blue stoneware pot. This Mother's Day, upgrade your flower pots with a sweet scallop ceramic container. Rifle Paper Company Floral Phone Case. It's both chic and practical. We are loving the look of this floral phone case for the spring months and beyond. Scented Soy Candle. This lilac scented candle promises stress relief and relaxation. What mom doesn't deserve that? Floral Weekender Bag. Talk about a winning last-minute gift. This weedy has enough space to hold all of her necessities and then some. Kindle Paper White. The newest version of the Kindle comes with an important upgrade. It's waterproof. Elisa Pendant Necklace. Add a little sparkle to her special day with this Kendra Scott Pendant Necklace, available in several other color options. Country Living Subscription. Order fresh ideas and recipes to be delivered to mom's mailbox every month. Plus, right now, you can get two one-year gift subscriptions for the price of one. Print off a gift certificate so she knows it's coming. What I love about mom, little gift book. Check off your last-minute Mother's Day gift with this heartstring hugging book. Fill in the prompts to remind her why she's the most valuable mom in your eyes. Bath Bombs Kit. Pamper your mom with these set of handmade bath bombs, which are made from natural ingredients. Paper to petal, 75 whimsical paper flowers to craft by hand. Crafty moms can make more than 70 different paper flowers with this how-to book. If she already has an Amazon Kindle, get her the ebook for $5. So $5 times 47 is around... Uh, Around 230, wait. So if you want to get the ebook of that, so let's calculate $5 times 47. It's around two or it's equivalent to 235 pesos for this book. Un unwind, ev unwind every day a journal. Thanks to this soothing journal gift, mom's first entry will probably go something like. Dear Diary, I have the best kid ever. Originals, one step to instant film camera. Take her back to her younger days with a nostalgic nod to her first instant camera. And don't forget the film. Polaroid's one step to starter set comes with the camera and film all in one. Insulated thermal travel mug. If mom is always on the go, she'll love this trendy cover that she can grab while running out the door. The flower recipe book. This flower, 
the, this lovely coffee table book by the experts at Studio Cho is filled with 125 different ways to create beautiful floral arrangements. EM Press Coffee Maker. The sleek coffee press comes in four different colors so that you, you, so you can find one to match your kitchen. So in summary, it is, it is important to tell our mothers we love and respect them every chance we get, not just on Mother's Day. A mother's love is endless self-sacrifice, devotion, and commitment that will remain in our hearts forever forging the character of the next generation. A mother's unconditional love has painted the canvas of our lives with gentle brushstrokes of patience, sacrifice, and tenderness. Mother's Day is an occasion which is celebrated in various parts of the world to express respect, honor, and love towards mothers. It is a day which makes people remember the importance and significance of mothers in their life and is observed as a day to give special emphasis to the motherly figures around the world. Hello guys, sorry because I was being called for just a while to see my cousin. Okay, anyway, let us now move on to the announcements part of the show. Ito. So first of all, we have the, the One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. Okay, if you see this, it's now available at the Hand in Inclusion online shop. It comes into these colors. Cool. Yellow, white, red, black, and blue. Okay, and the prices and the sizes range from extra small to double extra large, and prices range from 400 pesos to 450 pesos. The Hanson Inclusion tote bags range from 220 pesos to 260 pesos. For the hands and inclusion stickers, we include our yes is 250 pesos, and the Inevi Ko Ama PWDs is 150 pesos. It is available up for sale at the hands and inclusion online shop. You may pay via GCash and our pay Maya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. We're also accepting payments from Palawan and Cebuana. You may message the Hanson Inclusion Facebook page. It will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, Gogo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines in areas under the NCR Plus bubble. NCR, Bulacan, Cavite, Rizal, and Laguna. Nationwide, including Pampanga, it will deliver to you via LBC. This month, into training, Computer Basics is coming. Updates will be posted within this letter this month, within this week, on the, on the Hanson Inclusion Facebook page. Hanson Inclusion is looking for the following. Volunteer researchers, captioners, and volunteer YouTube uploader. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop or desktop and a strong internet connection, if you're committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, and if you are a college graduate, you may send your resume at handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. Again, that's handsin.inclusion at gmail.com. Do you want to donate for Hanson Inclusion? Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hanson Inclusion. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. It will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hands the Inclusion via GCash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684.
For those who did, thank you for your continuous support and for your generosity to Hanson Inclusion. The De La Salle College of St. Pinyel, in collaboration with the Center for Inclusive Education, Hub of Innovation for Inclusion, Peter D. Garucha Jr., Innovations Institute and the Benilja Student and Voice will have a webinar about sensitivity and empathy. The event will be done on May 21, 2021, Friday, from 4 o'clock in the afternoon to 6 o'clock in the evening via Zoom. The event is free and our speakers are Dr. Therese Bustos and Mark Antiqueño. There will be sign language interpreters for the deaf and the hard of hearing. If you're interested to join, then you may go register at the event right page by following the Center for Inclusive Education and the Hub of Innovation for Inclusion on Facebook. If you want to follow Hanson Inclusion, do you want to follow Hanson Inclusion on social media? Well, it would be appreciated for you guys to follow us on social media. You may do so by following us on Facebook, Hanson Inclusion PH, Instagram, Hanson Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hansen Inclusion Filipinas. But wait, there's more. You may also want to follow Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, Inclu Gaming, and the online shop on Facebook and the Inclu Gaming YouTube channel. For those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Hansen Inclusion. This year, 2021, Hansen Inclusion is celebrating its fourth year anniversary with the theme Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. Hansen Inclusion is a community of volunteers that involved with the with the sharing of stories of PWDs and their testimonies. And also we continue to 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 voice out our testimonies to our brothers and because Hanson include sorry, rather, Hanson inclusion are the bro are the ears and the voice of our brothers and sisters in order for us to to promote inclusion in our civilized society. Hanson inclusion is founded on March 8, 2017, by Roylan Marlang, a self advocate with autism from Pasay City. The initiative was started as Inclusion in Action. For the past four years, the achievements that we have done are the Inclusion Ako campaign, the online shop, live reports, webinars, bazaars, and more. And the event that we will never forget is this. Nakaranas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong June 6, 2020, hindi kami nawalan ng pag-asa at biyaya. At Hansen Inclusion, we continue to put God first Truth first, people first, and to promote our culture in our civilized society. So, the best gift for us for this fourth anniversary this year is this. I would like to appeal to the current and former members of Hansen Inclusion to observe proper decorum so that we will not have any problems. Let us continue to have a good example. We must learn how to show good attitude and show to be professional. Act like a neutral person. Your cooperation and our undivided attention is highly appreciated. We must learn how to be considerate, to understand each other, and to be self-controlled. Ito ay ginagawa para magiging mapayapa at maayos ang organisasyon na ito ng matagal. Apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hanson Inclusion in the future as, as a formal organization and expect a brand new start. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, bukod po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, hiniling namin ang inyong tulong at panalangin sa numang rehilyon ninyo na sana bumalik ang Hanson Inclusion sa panghinaharap bilang isang formal na organisasyon. At sana magkaroon tayo ng bagong simula. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. HNI, God first. On behalf of the Ant and Inclusion Philippines Management, we would like to greet our mothers a happy Mother's Day.
Sa kalan po ng pamunuan ng Hands in Inclusion, kami ay bumabati sa ating mga nanay na maligayang araw ng mga ina. And may the Almighty God bless them at pagpalain po natin sila sa poong ni Kapal. It's now of the time for our shout and there is one more announcement before the meetings proper, before our shout outs and meetings. On May 21, 9, 2021 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Hansen Inclusion will have our fifth webinar this year with the title, Any Meros, Aware for Mental Health. Abangan mo rin ito. Okay, it's now have the time for our shout outs and greetings. First, um, just for our birthday celebrants for today, we will be greeting uh, Leah, Liam, Man. Zanares and E.G. Ortico. Happy birthday po and expect the more birthdays to come. And also to um, to all the mothers, happy Mother's Day. And also I would like to say good afternoon and thank you to the following people. To my family, good afternoon. Hi! To Dance and Inclusion, to um to our founder Rylan Marlang and uh, Billy Christian Cedric Asher Vel Archie Kuyayo Marian PJ Rich Roy Galfo and uh And the others, good afternoon po and thank you. Best Buddies Philippines to Ma'am Michelle Aventajado, Gia Aventajado, Pia Guanyo Mago, Alan Angelo Nang, Ravi Sujanani, Calebora, Nico Velasco, Jessica Malca, Nice Ignacio, Luis Avelera, and... Uh, Vico Cham, Angela Batalliones, Ali Rojas, and the others, good afternoon and thank you. The best buddies we need to Joey Laurito, Clarissa Gonzalez, Sir Martin Romero, um, Bea Casa, Sabrina Buenafe, Genevieve Gutierrez, Patricia Toralba, Bobby Javier, uh, Bobby Anonas, sorry, Jamie Javier, we also have um, we also have uh, Beagila, Nina Calderon, Isa Madero. We also have uh, Kiran Fanega, Brian Pabustan, Mary Rose Ake, and the others. Good afternoon, po, and thank you. And also like to thank Autism Society Philippines, uh, to Mamona Magnovilus, good afternoon po and thank you. Autism Strong Philippines, to Ray Mark Badilio, Arden Asuncion, and Joel Nava, good afternoon po and thank you. To Project Inclusion Network, to um, Sir Jim Nemeno, Ma'am Pauline Reyes, and Ma'am Kathleen, good afternoon po and thank you. To the... Association for Adults with Autism Philippines to Dr. Lirio Covey, good afternoon po and thank you. To the Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, good afternoon and thank you. To um, um, a, Down, a, a Child's Dream Foundation Incorporated to Dr. Francis de Malanta, good afternoon and thank you. Also to Boundless Possibilities to uh, Susanna Yuzon, good afternoon and thank you. To Laro Lapis Libro, 
to Tulea Buenaventura, good afternoon and thank you. To Ateneo Speed, the Psychological Society of Assumption, and also other PWD organizations, good afternoon and thank you. I would also like to thank God, Sagad, to the Divine Providence, the Almighty Father. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagay ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. So, 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 so the best gift for us for this Mother's Day is also for us to be good, like to appreciate your mothers by listening to them, cooperate with them, with your mothers, and you have to follow what the what you should follow. Kung sumunod yung mga inuutos mula sa inyong mga nanay, wala nang problema. Okay? And also to those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary. Okay? And also for those who are gonna be uh, studying and also for those who are taking their exams and... Uh, and your academic obligations, good luck on your studies. Okay, and that will be all for the time for our Inkuraja Special Report for Sunday, May 9, 2021. To our mothers, happy Mother's Day. On behalf of Inkuraja and Hanson Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. I will be back again tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the evening for the editorial segment. Thank you. Good afternoon. And may the Almighty God bless us all. Have a productive week ahead. Pagpalain po tayo ng poong may kapal. We include our yes. We at Hands in Inclusion include us and include each other. One inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapos. One inclusion nation. H and I, God first. Thank you, good afternoon, and bye for now. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat, magandang hapon, at mabuhay. Bye-bye!